Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Mia Sayoko. And as you may or may not know, I've had quite a few procedures in my time. Plastic surgery isn't everyone's cup of tea and you're definitely entitled to your own opinion, but golly do I love when people just don't care and support me. Before I started dating my boyfriend Jerry, we were friends for quite some time and he was actually one of the first people that I opened up to about my upcoming procedures. Jerry's always been very unapologetically himself and so I was very comfortable sharing this info with him, especially with a male and he pleasantly surprised me when he just responded with oh sh that's cool I want that and I was like whoa not only did he make me feel accepted but he also made me feel understood especially coming from a male's perspective it was just a little bit more special to hear so fast forward two years later I'm taking him to his consultation we are going to a Phoenix in Marina Del Rey and we are going to meet Dr. Perez <laughs> that get surgery together. So Jerry went into his consultation wanting chin slash neck lipo and a chin implant, but also was open to hearing any suggestions that Dr. Perez had. So I definitely think you're a good candidate for a chin implant, okay. of which there are many different kinds. Okay. But so there's two ways of putting it in. You can either put it in through the mouth or under the chin. It's super noticeable. It's not super Okay, noticeable. I was like, all right. It's about maybe a centimeter and a half. She's got it. Buckle fat, it requires a lot of judgment bring in this fat pad just a little bit, it'll just help give your face a little more angularity, I which I think will dovetail with what you're going okay. to achieve. One stitch, one stitch, tiny stitches here. For the buckle fat though, your incisions would be just around the bite line. For most patients, you're going to want to lay low for about a week. Full on weight training and swimming and whatever you want to do without me putting any limits on it is probably going to be about five and a half to six weeks. That's <laughs> I'm idiots. So Dr. Perez recommended buckle fat removal and skin tightening to achieve the overall look that Jerry wanted. Jerry sat on those ideas for a couple of weeks and then he decided he was gonna go for it. He was gonna get four procedures. Now it's time to take him to his surgery day. The before pics. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Hello. Okay, 98.1. You done? I'll get this going and I'll give you a call as soon as the results are finished. Thank you. Surgery day! <laughs> soon you can do this too. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can't do it right now. I need surgery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What are we getting done, my darling? Some neck lipo. Go in behind the ear as a little snip snip. Then go into here and <laughs> to get all this. Damn, that thing thangin'. Chin implant, a little snip here. Pop a little guy in here. Face tight, which is like a skin tightening thing. So Morpheus 8. Yeah, so it's like a, it looks like a tattoo gun. It has like a bunch of needles. It's like really painful if you're awake, so I'm glad they're doing it when oh I'm God. asleep. Buckle fat. <gasps> I don't like the buckle fat removal. To, I, reduction, let's call it a reduction. Oh. Mm. Looks so cute. Thank you. Like could, who doesn't know anything? Has anyone like not parents. contacted you? <laughs> <laughs> Any of my family members. Are you gonna get that mole removed? More people. <laughs> Did you take any medications this morning? No. Any allergies to medications? No. Yeah. All set? Okay, great. Uh, okay, close. And I'm just going to feel under here. Just looking at your airway, it looks pretty normal. Tiny little incision here with a little stitch. Dissolving stitches and some skin glue. We're gonna do just a little bit of neck lipo and some face type buckle fat. We just want to reduce this a little bit. Chin implant that'll help bring this out just a little and help smooth that jawline. All stuff that's gonna make you look yourself. You're still gonna look masculine. Okay, well, let's go back. We'll take some photos. We, you can ask any more questions and cool. I'll get you all settled. Okay. All right. <laughs> Have a little bit of swelling, but you're going to be a neck compression that's going to control that. The part you'll probably notice the most will be the cheeks. Within the first two weeks, that'll definitely improve. You'll be putting like iced peas or something like that on your cheeks. Once you're about six to eight weeks, the swelling will come down more. You didn't even say bye to me. <laughs> say goodbye to this face. Oh, mm. goodbye. goodbye.
update it is currently 12.01 p.m jerry went in at 7 he probably started his surgery around like 8 30 i think he's still in surgery i believe they would call me if he's out and like currently recovering i walked my dog i went to panera bread i got jerry some broccoli cheddar soup figured he needed soft foods a couple of bananas not sure if it's going to be edible for him and a coconut water every time my phone vibrates i'm like <gasps> It was Lauren. <laughs> Sorry to expose you. <sighs> I want to like call and ask them for an update, but I just know that will be annoying. So we wait. Hello, darling. Hi. It's Dr. Perez, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. He did awesome. He looks super handsome. I put a medium size uh, tritopine in. Did some light under the neck. Good face type of everything we talked about. He didn't have a ton of uncle fat, so I just removed a little bit because we don't want to cause issues. He's gonna be done soon. I am chilling in the car to keep the AC running because I got snacks in here to take care of. Are we ready to see his new face? I know you're okay, but every moment, please go slowly. Uh -huh. Elevate upper body, maybe a two or three cushion behind him. Doctor said she, he can start up drinking a little by little. If he's gonna eat something, but the very gentle soft food. The firearm was loaded and it was in an excess area. Yeah, I know. I, I was so mad to carry the Finally, beautiful. You bitches can't tell me nothing. My jaw is really sore. I think they probably had my jaw open really wide when they were taking out the buckle fat. Bottom lip is definitely swollen. So cute. Mm. I really wanted them to let me keep my buckle fat because I really wanted to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know if I'm delicious. Yeah, I wanted to butter some toast with that. Yeah, I wanted me to partake. It ain't harming no one. Yeah, I'm ethically sourced. I did ask my surgeon. He was like, ha ha ha. So I was like, I'm serious. Day two. <clears throat> so I did not update you guys yesterday. He was in, I would say, rough shape. Lots of pain. You said a 10. So. Yeah, so I didn't want to vlog in his face. Also, he slept most of the day. Now we're back in the office for a post-op and we're gonna see the face unwrapped for the first time. So you slept okay, <laughs> everything went okay last night. Watch mm -hmm. shot you look it out. How much fat? It's about two cc's on each side. Oh, the neck? Uh, enough, enough to show some, some jawline. <laughs> so good. I will get some of these band-aids off. This tape is gonna stay on for a week and everything looks perfect. These little red dots will fade over the next couple of days. That's totally normal. Then once the face tight kicks in with the Morpheus, it's gonna tighten even more. One, two. Every surgery comes with risks to complications and nerve issues slash nerve damage is one of them that Jerry unfortunately was dealing with for a majority of his recovery. Honestly, it's something that I didn't document because there was so much unknown as to what was going to happen if he was gonna fully heal. Now for the first couple of weeks, Jerry survived solely on broccoli cheddar soup, mashed potatoes, and applesauce. He couldn't really move his mouth. Very intense nerve pain and also just a lisp due to not being able to have full movement. So of course we kept the doctors and the nurses informed. One week later, it was time for Jerry's follow-up appointment to check out how things were going. Your incision's healing really nicely. I don't see any signs of infection. The position is good. Your chin is right in the midline. We're gonna remove these stitches today, and then I'm gonna do a little lymphatic massage of your neck. Are you yeah. able to eat okay? Um, it's very numb over here. Uh -huh. So I think I like bit myself and uh -huh. like, didn't even realize it. Okay. This side, I have sensation on uh -huh. right here, but from right here over, can't really feel anything, so just have to be careful. So when did it start to feel more numb? It's been pretty numb from the beginning, but I think as I've, the swelling has gone down a little bit, I've been able to kind of pinpoint it more on this side. I understand. The important things for me are that you're maintaining your nutrition, that we're supporting your healing, okay? When you're healing from a surgery, your body's in overdrive, so you have to give it all the calories it needs and beyond. Jerry was prescribed more medications that helped with his nerve issues and his pain. Surely enough, Jerry got better and better. Dr. Perez monitored Jerry's healing throughout the weeks as they passed to make sure they were improving, and he did. It was definitely a struggle for him and definitely an unexpected, but we're just grateful that he's good. So, let's see his new look. Paolo is exhausted because Majesty, only Paolo, can take this and this and give you a princess. <laughs> so Jerry and I are going to film a video
video all about our plastic surgery, so feel free to comment any questions, comments, concerns down below, and we will address those. So thanks for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video.